Hola, Kina Lito. It is me, Lito, aka Mahadi with an L, the girl that calls four countries home. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Welcome if it's your first time here. I am not feeling as energetic as I'm acting all my days. I am just feeling defeated right now. But in my previous upload, you guys were like, keep up the energy. Everybody was like, keep up the energy. Ah, I think I was just happy, really. But let's do the story time that doesn't... Um, can you guys see me? I don't know. I feel like it's going to... Okay. Let's do story time. Um, I know I am color blocking. Um, let me tell you something positive. Because right now, all I want to do is complain. Um, by the way, guys, I have a membership. I actually have created membership. Um, I should find out how to, how to join, how to, the link. Have a look in, on my channel if you have an option to join and support me, support my channel. I have a membership. I've, I have, um, made some videos that are only available on there. They're not new videos. I shall highlight, but, um, sometimes I have just wanted to vent uh, things that I don't want to be for the public public but for the public but not public public or at least if you're gonna see them um gotta be paying um so yeah i think the event i wanted to do just now i felt like okay this is for only membership only people who actually have my best interest at heart and if you're gonna go to such lengths as to pay membership and you have you don't have my best interest at heart it's because you love Mgosi then you know what I mean it's 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 my gain my gain honey so testimony of how I found the place where we live at now my new home our new home with the kids yo okay where do i start right so i've been looking for so it was last year no no not last year it was in may when i first um when it first came to my attention that i need to leave i have i may have to move that i have to move basically that i have i have to move from the family home um so I started looking then for a place to live. Yo, yo, guys, hey, it's like the lottery. Trying to find a place to live in this country, in this state. Huh. Um, the market is quite there's quite a lot of demand very high demand i think there's more people wanting to rent than there are houses so you can imagine you go to a place there's like 20 of you viewing the place when you get there some people have even applied already before they see the house so i started out thinking oh well you know uh, at the time i was still the house was not for sale yet when I started looking. So it was just checking what the market has to offer. And that. Thirsty. So. Sorry guys it's bright. I find it really really bright. Oh that's better. The rays of the sun. Are blinding me. Even though the sun is in the clouds right now. But it's just so bright in my face. So apologies if you find it offensive. Me wearing them dimmers honey. Okay. So I started being serious. I think about. Three months ago. So around July. I think that's when I was like. Hey. That's when we put the house on the market. So I started looking, I'm searching in our area. I cannot afford anything in the area. <laughs> but I'm like, no, no, you know, if this, if that, if that, you know, of course I can. Da, 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 da. I keep looking, I'm not getting a place. 
it's exhausting it's draining and of course that's not that's not the only thing i'm dealing with i'm not just trying to find a place i'm dealing with all sorts of other things you know there's divorce lawyers there's um um uh, selling the house there's the bank there's just a lot there's me having an anxiety attack you know there's my health like there's my body letting me down you know while i thought i'm okay i'm coping my body was just like we are not coping just stop 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 ah uh, so i start I, I start looking and look and i'm like one day i just sat down you know i did a, a budget not quite a budget but you know just just did um just a look into my finances and i'm like you know what actually what i can afford is a house for 250 that's what i would comfortably afford i start looking of course <laughs> i won't mention the places where those houses are for my Perth people in case you live there because i'm not trying to be offensive and i really don't think those places are bad i would have lived there happily uh, more water i personally would live there without a problem but these are the places that we were warned not to live in it when we first got here so <laughs> uh by our accountants you know he was like don't live there there or there those are the places with those prices that I can afford. I can't afford anywhere else. I started looking into those places. Those places, I felt even more depressed because I'm thinking, how how do I bring the kids here? I mean, this thing is already so hard, and the kids, you know, they've been so brilliant. They were like, "No, mom, it's okay. Um, we're not that attached to the house. We're only here for four years anyway, and it's just a house." Not when you start living in a house with mold. So I just thought, you know what? I know they're being brave, bless their hearts. But there's no way I'm bringing them here. Plus, when I work, like, I would never, I could never leave them alone and feel okay. You know. <sighs> I started stressing. I started stressing quite a lot. Because of the kids you know i'm thinking me i'm from africa me i went to boarding school two schools that were in the proper villages no hot water no electricity it was i can i can deal with that i would be fine not my children they would they would be fine because that's how i brought them up but they would really feel it because they have never had to live like that, you know. I'm just feeling super thirsty. When I think of how they love their space. Okay, those places are, some of them are really in good, they have huge land, you know. Um, but of course, not, not well looked after. Um, the places were really, really bad. The places I went to view you know in those in that price range and then i was like okay maybe we need to increase a little bit what i'm willing to spend on rent you know I'm like okay 300 let's go okay maybe 400 400 max 400 max i'm looking in my area it's just it's just expensive you know uh before i go to the 400 max i think i was just like okay maybe we get two bedrooms or even one bedroom in a good place. I get a sofa bed. Rhea sleeps in the lounge. Holly and I sleep together. Okay. We keep looking. Of course, some small places, you couldn't have three people in them. You know, there was just a thing. How many people can live in there? But I was not going to give up. I kept looking, guys. I don't know. I can't even tell you how many houses I looked at. I applied just getting rejection after rejection there's a house that i saw in thornley for those of you who are local it was so beautiful i felt it in my spirit this house is mine i applied way before i went to that house i prayed i spent the afternoon on the driveway praying and praying i didn't get it 
so now recently now like a few weeks ago now i see this place this house so now this is now when we had now moved to the 400 like, okay we can move to 400 because now you know i i went to center link you know the government um funding place you know the social grant <laughs> uh and i saw that okay i can qualify for if i'm renting any place over 300 i think or something i can get 78 dollars a week for it so the th the rent here is per week so it's like okay that would actually slash it down nicely so we could do that and that's when i was like okay i could go 400 actually because i could get three something i can i can do that i can do that Okay, young people are finishing school. Ah. So I call, I see a house, I, I contact this woman, ne, the, the estate agent. I'm like, I am not working. I'm a student. I'm, um, I'm about to start my, my placement, you know, and after that, I'm going to be working. I am selling my house right now. It's under offer. By this time, it was under offer. It's under offer. So I'm going to get be getting uh, equity out of the house. And I'm going to be paying my rent. I'm happy to pay six months in advance for the rent. You know, I, I tell her all sorts of things. I'm going through a divorce. What do I do to be ahead? What do I do to improve my chances of actually getting a place? I've applied to several places. I'm not getting it, please. She said, okay, send us your income statement from Centrelink. And child, do you get child support? Yes. Send us that. Send us cover letter. Have a cover letter. Always have a cover letter. Tell us your story. <laughs> I did that cover letter. I did. I sent, okay, a three-month statement. Ha, ha, sha, 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 sha. And then, um, you know, she was even, she called me, she had prompt, prompted me, uh, you haven't sent this, can you send that? Um, can you send us this? Do you have this? Um, send, 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 send. Hey, I'm like, kids, we are getting a place in Harris Day. Woohoo! I feel really good about this one. This woman is even prompting me. Goodness me. That woman touched my heart. I'm like. I'm telling my friends. Oh guys. I'm getting this, this place. You know I had been looking for a place for so long. That you know people had stopped asking. How I'm doing. <laughs> so now just talking to my two close friends. You know. This one I feel so good. You know I'm talking to them. And some other close people that I talk to. That are not in this country. Oh, I feel so good about this one. So, uh, Ria then tells, you know, her fr his his friend that uh, I've got in a house. I don't know what she, yeah, what he said, but her mom then calls me and congratulates me on the house. Oh, I heard you got a place. When do we come? Let us know when to come and help you clean your place when you move out. I'm like, no, no, ah, these kids with jumping the gun. I haven't gotten a place, but there's a place that I'm so positive about that, you know, it's such, it's just a matter of time, man. We are praying up on this one. We are fasting on this one. <laughs> I wasn't fasting and I didn't say that. We are praying on this one and, you know, and Nakanjani, this one is ours. This one is the one I can feel it in my spirit, even in my toes, you know. I told my mom, my family. Then I get, that week I was just getting rejection letters. The final one being this house. Sorry, but you have not been successful. I, I, I don't even know what I felt. If I didn't have visitors, I would have just cried. And, and my visitors were kids. So I can't just cry. This was my last hope. Now the house is officially sold. I think now. So now we know the date. The date is coming so near. Like the date. We have a month now. 
for these people are moving in in a month so we have to get out in a month i don't know now i've done everything i could i'm like okay it was in the morning when i found out it was a thursday morning i'm like okay we're spending today applying to 25 houses and we'll do the same next week because I had heard some people 25 houses application per week so I just thought okay okay we're just gonna apply I'm just gonna apply and keep doing that for a month feeling the pressure now I told the kids dead that can you please can the kids please live with you if I don't get a place because I can afford to get a, a room I can't afford to get a house. He said, okay. The kids can come live with me. I'm not living in a big place now, but I can get a place. So they come live with me until you're on your feet. Because I had already asked for the kids to live with him a long time ago. Looking at my finances and everything. Now, if you know me, you know that was that's a desperate situation. That's like a really unthinkable. Actually, someone challenged me. He said, just do the unthinkable. I said, what's unthinkable? He said, let the kids live with their dad. You know, because he was seeing how much I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I can't find a place. So I asked him and he said he can't live with the kids. You know, he can he please can they please live with me? You know, he's whatever reasons that he gave so this is now when i ask him to live with them i already know that he can't live with the kids you know he said okay i will live i will get the kids i will live with them until you find your yourself so, oh, whew, at least relief ah oh. so i get the the, the news I hate how I keep getting dry. Ah. So now, when I get this rejection letter, I just, I feel defeated, you know? But I don't feel desperate. I don't feel sad. I just feel... And I think it was helped by the fact that I had visitors. I was in a really good mood because I had visitors, kids who came over to visit us. Thanks, mom and dad. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, so I feel defeated. But I feel, you know what? I cannot afford to be defeated. I cannot afford it. I can't afford to. When I feel defeated, usually I just want to sleep. I just want to moan. I just, I'm like, okay, I, I cannot actually afford to do that. So today we are applying 25 houses. I'm going to apply for 25 houses. And I feel emotional now as I think of it. Because I felt, you know what? We're going to apply for these 25 houses. We just have to budget the whole afternoon. And then I'll do the same thing next week. And I'm going to be doing that each and every week until. But this is like, now it's like, it's just a month, you know, left I'm thinking, okay, oh, well, if I have to do it every day and I have to go look at these houses, you know, it was during school holidays and I knew when, when the term starts, I'm starting work and I'm not going to have time to go viewings for, for, for house viewings, you know, for open, open houses. I'm like, oh Lord, I was feeling the pressure because I was hoping to get something before I start my placement. So, as soon as I got this rejection, this final rejection, I messaged my friends. You know, we have a group, WhatsApp group. I post in there. I don't tell my mom. I don't tell my I'm like... I mean, she's already so stressed. <laughs> then I message um, my other sister friend. Who is uh, Ria's friend's mom who had congratulated me i'm like yo 
Didn't get that one either. She calls me immediately. I think initially I couldn't I couldn't pick up the phone. I don't know why. Oh, I didn't see the call. When I call back, she's like, "There's a, there's a, there's a house. There's a lady letting out her house. It's a private rental. She's looking for someone from Southern Africa. Huh? It's in the really good suburb. Let me call her. I've just viewed the house." I'm house viewing for a friend of mine. The house is too small for her. Do you want to have a look at the house? Yes. It's small, but it's beautiful. Please. Okay, let me call the landlord. Call the landlord. Landlord, can she be here at 9.30? It's 9. I've just woken up. I'm still in my gowns and everything. No, no, no. The time they gave me, I only had like 10 minutes. I didn't even have time. Like, it wasn't even half an hour. I think I'd woken up at 9. And then 9.30. So it was about 9.18 or something. So the place is like 10 minutes from, you know, the current house or the old the Our house. Let me put it that way. So it's 10 minutes apart, away from each other, these places. I get in the car, I drive, I immediately I park there, she parks behind me. She's like, sis, how are you? I'm, I've been praying on the way here. I've been pray I'm like, I was almost crying on the way here when I realized this place is near church. I'm like, where? I'm, I keep going and going. I'm getting closer and closer to our church. It turns out this place is on the same street as our church. I park... The landlord arrives. The, the current um, tenant is still in there. We have a look. We have a look. I'm like, oh my days. I'm looking at it. I'm like, my table is going to fit there. My sofa is going to fit. I'm like, I'm interested. I love the house. She says, let me walk you to the car. She asked me about myself. I'm t I just tell her. Actually, I just started. It's like, okay, so I don't work. Um, I'm going through a divorce. Uh, our house is now officially sold. So I'm waiting for, you know, I, I'll be able to pay. I can pay six months in advance. She, she smiles. She's like, I wouldn't make you pay six, six months in advance. Um, I'm from Botswana. You know, she's from Botswana. She had advertised her home uh, at a pri on a private neighborhood website and had had hundreds and hundreds of people applying for it. But the name of the lady who contacted us, who linked us up, stood out for her because she recognized it to be a South Southern African name. Yo! So even, even when my friend connected us, she was like, she's Southern African. <laughs> I thought, wow, imagine being Southern African, doing things for you, opening doors for you. This lady said, can you afford the rent? I said, yes. By faith, I will afford the rent. The rent is, is, is above my budget. I'm like, I will afford the rent. I love your place. I've got two teenagers and stuff. She said, can you keep my house clean? Did you see how clean it was? That lady always keeps it clean. Can you keep my house clean? I said, yes. We've been cleaning like we're crazy now with the house sales. We were cleaning each and every day, living in the garage with everything packed up in the garage, minimalistic, living like we're in a display home. So we're already on the roll. The kids already know what is up when it comes to keeping a house spotless. Like they're still, it's still fresh in their head. And they know already, I told them that when we go rent, this is how we need to keep the person's house. So I'm confident we will keep your house clean. She said, you must pray a lot, isn't it? I said, yes, I do. I was praying even here. She said, I pray too and I can feel that you pray. And I'm feeling in my heart that this house is yours. <laughs> she said, I will talk to my husband and I'll come back to you.
because the fact that you do not work, that is an issue. But I'll talk to him and get back to you. Guys, that's where we live. That's where we are now. It's a beautiful house. It's nice and cozy. You know, um, I'm selling quite a lot of furniture because things do not fit. But the house is enough for us. And guess what? 10 minutes. 10 minutes is all it takes for me to clean. I used to spend two hours to clean the other house. Two hours. Ah. <sighs> She's an amazing person. She is so supportive. She even came to watch my play. She is an incredible person. She has such a wonderful family. Oh my days. Guys, like I feel like I found a friend. She's so, she's like, talk to me anytime you need to talk, you know. She, you know, about my divorce things and anything. She has been so supportive, you know. She's like taking me under her wing like, like I'm one of her family. <sighs> I, guys, I can't, like, I'm even feeling emotional right now. Like, the goodness of God. The goodness of God. Like, I have seen God so much throughout this thing. Since I found out I have to move. God has just shown up. Like, I cannot afford this place. I can't afford this place, but I am there. And I have paid two rents so far. And even my baby daddy was so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to call him. We're still married, so he's not my ex-husband yet. Even the kid's dad was so helpful, you know, financially with my deposit. Because I thought selling the house, I thought things were going to go quick. As far as uh, the estate agent had told me, our agent, we are going to get the money before settlement. Settlement is in seven days. There's no money. You know, so I was sure that I'm going to pay this rent, man. I don't have issues. Now I'm having to scratch and scratch and scratch. But so far, I've figured out how I'm going to pay. And thankfully, you know, um, I do get enough to pay. But now I have to sort out how am I paying my bills and how are we living. So that's, that's still a question. But I do get quite a generous amount of from the dad the kids dead yeah which is now for the school fees and for the rent in child support so yeah things are shaping up things are shaping up so yeah unfortunately i can't save up yet i can't you know but i do get enough to pay for what i need to pay and then I think we'll be fine, you know. It looks like we'll be fine while we wait to get the money from the house. <laughs> um, although that money is going into savings for my deposit, I want to get back onto the property ladder. Uh, so I'm hoping by God's grace next year I can get a a mortgage. If not, um, I'm hoping, you know, I can stay where we are we can stay where we are for as long as possible because it's a safe place it, it it's it's unit so it's safe you know i can leave the kids there if i want to go visit the uk for example or go see my mother and i'm happy i'm happy god gave me a safe place like i'm happy i'm happy Basically, I'm, I'm happy and grateful. God works in mysterious ways for sure. So that's the story of how we got the place we are at right now. Uh, we keep seeing God, God's footprints everywhere. One set of footprints in the sand and it's just incredible. I, I just cannot wait to see where God takes me, takes us, you know, takes me as a, as a soul parent. I'm not a soul parent, but you know what I mean? Where he takes me career-wise, finance, um, 
all the big dreams I have, which he has placed in my head, you know, I just cannot wait to see him show off as he has done from the moment my kid's dad said he wants, he doesn't want to be married anymore to me. From the moment he moved out, from the moment I was rejected and discarded, God has just been on a mission to prove to me that he is all I need, you know? So I'm super grateful. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you were encouraged. If you're going through something similar, I've noticed also that the more I am grateful, the more God opens doors, you know? So if things are not klanganed, klanganing in your life, in your situation, try and be grateful for the little you have. And you will see God open up doors. So I just glorify God, honestly. Like, yeah. Yeah. So he's not Baal. He's not a boy. He doesn't wear short pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you guys for watching i love you but remember that god loves you even more and that is true ciao ciao hella you watched everything thank you so much for watching everything now don't forget to subscribe and go back to my other videos and scroll and scroll and scroll and watch everything. There's very good things in here, very good interesting things. You are number one, number one. Now thank you and take care of yourself.